Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today, I show you how to escape from leg drag. That is more like guard retention. Like after your leg drag, I show you way to how to get up on a position step by step. Hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, here in a position. He makes a leg drag position like this. At the beginning of time, before he stabilizes my knee, I want to open my knee to make knee shield, and then I regain the angle like this. I'll show you this type of movement in other video in Wider program. If you haven't checked, you can take a look at the link. Okay? So today, he already stabilized my knee like this. He's about to put his knee on the mat, which is bad for me. Okay? So before he puts his right knee on the mat, I want to escape. Okay, the first one is like making a frame. Like I use my hand to keep his shoulder away like this. Then once I set up, I made an axis to sit up, I want to sit up escape, okay? I use my elbow, I slide look at the other side, and then I come up. Once I come up, I have more leverage. So from this position, I use my toe to step the floor, and then I scoop my hips away. By the time I scoop my hips away, I can release my right knee like this, okay? Once I release, I put my knee in, and then I regain an angle. Okay, in this angle I show you here, I got leg track like this. He's about to put his knee on the mat, which is no good for me. I need to retrain it, okay? Before he does, I make the frame like this. You can even grab the gear, like your collar, to push his neck away. Like make the frame, okay? Then from this position, right? I'm not gonna come up forward. Look how I use my elbow on the mat. Then by the time I use my elbow, I can come up to the side, okay? Next one is the most important part in this technique. I'm gonna scoop my hips away. Look how is my toes on the mat like this, okay? I move my hips away. By the time I scoop my hips away, look, I release my right knee, okay? And then I can lie down to regain the angle, okay? You can try the technique, like spin the leg to make the angle like this, or you step the hips first, and then you want to completely pull out your right leg, and then you come back and form your opponent. Okay, next one. Uh, he's advancing in the position like this. He's about to put his knee on the mat like this, right? Like I said before, before he puts his knee on the mat like this, I want to escape if it's possible. So, okay, let's come back. I want to retrieve his action, like push his knee away, and then I even use my leg, like thigh, like this. As I do so, it's getting hard for him to put his knee on the mat for a while. Even though he comes forward, I can retrieve the movement like this, okay? Obviously, I have more pressure for my opponent, so that's why I cannot come up as like last one. So instead of doing it, I scoop my hips away on the ground, okay? So here, I make the frame, then when he comes forward, look, I slightly use my leg, like the front kick like this. And then there's gonna be a gap between my hip and his ankle. Okay? So here, I tuck my leg in, like this. Once I hide my leg in like this, it's not the proper lecture position, okay? Even though he drives his way on me, look, I can secure space, okay? But before he does, I want to completely get my leg inside. So in this position, I shift my leg, and then I come to this position. Okay, by the time I come, I put my leg in, like making a 50-50 or single leg. Here, it gets more pressure like this. It's getting harder for me, right? I secure space against his upper body, then I even use my leg. Look, like a front kick like this. Not probably he drives away on me, but I just want to retreat it. Like a next, I slightly move up. And then, look how I tuck my leg in, like this. Like making a shin to shin. Then from this position, in order for me to shoot my left leg, I slightly push into the other side. Like this, push, and then I shoot this leg in, like this. Then once I get my leg in like this, it's a difficult for him to drive his way, but drive his knee on the mat as I completely lock it like this. Then next, I want to release my right leg. I slightly push it to the side, and then I tuck my leg in. It's gonna be the same as single leg X. Or as an option, you can even switch to the X card. Okay, next one, this is kind of pretty bad position. Like you're about to get past. Like you're already 
control like this. He completely makes the next activation. So this is the last chance for you to escape. Now, what it is quite similar to the first technique, like making a plane to sit up, okay? So first, I slide my hand in like this, right? He may cross his head like this. So before he does, okay, I'll slide my hand in. Like using my forearm against his head to make the frame. Then I can retrace the movement. He cannot drive his head to this side to finish the guard pass, okay? Then next, okay? It's a lot of pressure on me like this. That's why I cannot sit up now. Look, I use my hamstring to push his hips away. Like the leg extension to use my hamstring like this. Then I can slightly get his hips away even though it's a lot of pressure, okay? By the time I do the next movement, I tuck my leg in and then I step his hip on like this, okay? This is what I want to do to make space to escape, okay? Without doing this, He's going to drive his weight on me a lot like this. Then I cannot escape up the wall. That's why I slightly push his hips away. Then I tuck my hip in like this. And once I step his hips with my soul like this, it's way easier for me to maintain distance. It's pretty hard for me to come to me, to try to come to me. Look, I can kick it away. And then from this position, right next one is the most important part. I use my elbow around here. And then I come up to the side, to the sit-up escape. So in this position, come up like this. Right? I want to keep on kicking his hips away during the time I do the movement. Otherwise, he can apply me pressure, okay? So here, then my goal is pull my leg on the bottom, like this, okay? Once I come up, I'm gonna raise my right leg, and then I reset the position. In this position like this, he's so tired on me, then, like I showed you, right? I cannot step his hips now, okay? First, I use, the, use my arm like this to make a frame, and then I rip over his head from my chest. Then next, before I step his hips, I use my hamstring like in a front kick, like this. I can slightly get his hips away, and then I step his hips like this. Right, once I do, I have made an axis for me to move up. I want to sit up to the side by using my elbow. But if I put my elbow around here, it's impossible for me to come up. Look, like this. Like watching TV in a, like a dining room like this, okay? Here. And then I come up to the side. I can come up this type of match, but once I change the level of my upper body, I have more leverage to escape. So from this position, I slightly kick his up away, and then I pull my left leg like this. Probably during the time of the moment, he puts me a lot of pressure, but I just wanna retrieve with the frame by using my forearm and so like this. And then my goal is pull my leg on the bottom. It's not kicking him away like this. Once I pull my left leg, this is no longer lecture position. Even though he puts a lot of pressure on me, right, he cannot pin me, right? I need to pull my left leg. I need to pull my right leg from this position. I regain the angle, okay? I reset the position. 